Table fans, it's time for a studio update. Really nothing happening since uh, last night, except this. Check this. Oh, hi, Heather. Hey, yeah, I'm like, fans. look at these models. Oh, look, a human. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> All right, hey, can you uh, actually hold that up and show it? So here's a Carnifex, and here's this giant thing. So, yeah, let's have it. This is Ice Nids color scheme. Look at that beauty. It's real nice. Comments, Heather? I wouldn't want to come up against this guy. Yep. The base work we did on these is actually translucent uh, plexiglass. Give that sort of broken up river sort of feel. Yeah, that's what that looks like. All right, hey, let's look at these old uh, armor cast figures. Go ahead. Let's see if I can name them. Uh, this is an exocrine. I guess the the precursor to a to a Tyrannifex, like giant creature with decent close combat and a huge gun. See how it has the double barrels there? And if you read the description for the Tyrannifex, you'll see uh, something consistent with that. And uh, this is a um, uh, a malefactor. Um, in the in the rules for this, it actually carried uh, models that it was a it was a Tyranid transport, and like uh, these um, things would uncurl, and there's actually guys inside of them. I don't know where I got that concept, but uh, it's in my brain pan for some reason. Uh, this is what I think is a uh, uh, called a Haru Specs, and I think it's just some sort of close combat thing. Again, these are old resin casts from Armor Cast, I think in the 90s, uh, maybe very early 2000s. You can still find them every once in a while on eBay. They're, they're kind of expensive. Um, and uh, there you go. So this, this project, um, yeah, we're not going to go through everything. Well, like this is a first generation Carnifex. It's a second generation Carnifex with some new stuff on it. And so this project has a little bit of everything in it. Oh, let's take a look at this guy. Go ahead and hold this up. Don't mind. Heather, Heather will be like our Vanna White of miniatures. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, a couple big guns on that. And th there's official rules for these. So, um, okay, let's, um, oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show them. This is, uh, so this is a, a barbed hierojoule. And this is a scythed hyro jewel. Uh, this is a Valkyrie base, so if this one actually fits on a decent size base. Pull it back a little bit. There's a lot of background. No, this way. They, uh, there's a lot of background uh, noise there. So now this, this guy has this back gun thing, like this conical lump of flesh, uh, which I think is um, in the old Forge World rules for it. Uh, is an acid spray. So the the Tyrannifex isn't a creature that's coming out of the blue. It has a precedent. In fact, I always thought this figure would make a great Tyrannifex uh, figure with an, with an acid spray or maybe some kind of larger bioweapon on his back. Though, personally, I kind of like the uh, conversions that the studio has come up with. So, well, um, you know, I, I think I'm just going to stick with that for studio updates. So, uh, ho hope you enjoyed and got got your inspiration. Say got got your, your inspiration for today? I hope so.